What's up everybody, D'Angelo here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I wanted to make this video on how I was able to invest in my business when I was broke, right? Because a lot of people have this excuse. They're like, D'Angelo, I don't have enough money for a course. D'Angelo, I don't have enough money for software. D'Angelo, I don't have enough money for mentorship. D'Angelo, I don't have money for this. D'Angelo, I don't have enough money for that. When a lot of people actually do, Right, like a lot of people have enough money to get started. There are very few people in the United States who actually don't have the capital to be able to get started and you know, affiliate marketing, CPA marketing, just marketing in general, whatnot. They just it's very, 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 very few people that don't have the money, like actually don't have it. Right. A lot of people are just playing the keeping up with the Joneses and you know, they aren't even paying the bills on that stuff and their disposable income is going to all those bills if they are paying. And it's just like, you need to get yourself out of that whole keeping up with the Joneses thing, right? So the way I was able to, you know, invest in my business while I was broke. So let me tell you like my old thing. So last, well, last job I had, I forgot what, how much it paid now. Basically I was making around like 1200 bucks per month, right? Or was actually less than that, you know, this is before taxes. It's crazy. It's like, a, like, Man, that seems so long ago. Twelve hundred dollars for the entire month working. What was that? That'd be like a hundred and twenty hours of working. That's just fucking crazy. But um, let's jump back into this, right? So twelve hundred dollars was my thing. My rent was like five hundred something. Um, say like lights was probably like a hundred. Uh, I, I don't know. Let's just say after all my bills, I had like three hundred bucks left over. So if the average person, you know, actually pays these bills here, which a lot of people don't, but uh, let's just say they pay their bills or whatnot. And with that $300, they are going out and they're buying liabilities, right? I didn't do that. See this $300 right here, I might've took like, you know, 200 of it and I would invest it in a course. Then I'd invest it in software. I invested in new programs. I invested in this, 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 this. And all of this, all the time, I didn't make money from this. Like a lot of times I actually didn't make money in this because I didn't know what I was doing. I was just, you know, just throwing it at the wall into something stick. And that's pretty much how it, how it went for me. And a lot of people, you know, they will not take uh, $200 you know, every single month and literally throw it at the wall when they can go get, you know, a refrigerator, they could go get a, a couch, they can go get a new gaming system, they can go get a new phone, they can go get a, a watch, they can go get some shoes, they can go get a coat or whatever the case may be, right? So all of my disposable income, even though I was broke as hell, like the little bit of disposable income I did have, I would take it and I would just invest it and again, not every single time it paid off. There are many times it did not pay off because I did not know what I was doing. That's just really what it came down to. I just didn't know what I was doing. I could go buy a course that was for level 50s and I'm completely confused. I don't know what to do. Like I remember the first time, um, one, of the, well, one of the first videos I was watching on CPA marketing and the guy was talking about I forgot what he was talking about, but it was like so freaking advanced. It was like, like so advanced. And I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. I had no idea what was going on. So I had to get to this level to be able to understand this course. See, a lot of people go out and buy a course that they aren't ready for. And then they'll call it a scam because they don't know how to use the course. Like, I mean, you have to get to that level. It's like you try to go directly like the day you're born type stuff going directly into geometry or something like that right out the gate you're like you're not going to know what's going on there are classes there are steps and stuff before you get to that step right there so there are levels here that you need to complete before you get to that level or whatnot especially if you don't have the capital which i did not right so that's pretty much how i was able to do it i just took all my disposable income and then I just kept throwing it at the wall. Now, obviously, I don't recommend you guys go and throw money at the wall. There are like sure ways that you can make money, like no risk. Well, I mean, obviously, there'll be risk. But I mean, if you put in the work, you are going to make money. It's just that simple. Like, I mean, like Amazon FBA, for example, there isn't a single person that can fail at that. If you fail at um, Amazon FBA, I hate to say it, but honestly, you should just quit because I mean, you are literally getting paid to put shit in the box. If you fail at doing CPA marketing for free, like if you can't get free traffic to convert, I don't know what to tell you. Like, 
again, tons of courses out here that you can buy. Like I personally always buy a course. Everyone thinks, oh, you just want to sell your course. You want to sell your course. Not at all. I tell you guys all the time, go buy a course. It doesn't matter if it's my course, go get you a course. Because if you don't get a course, you're going to do what I was doing in the beginning. Just throwing shit at the wall, just throwing stuff at the wall. And back then courses weren't cheap. Well, at least I didn't see any courses that were cheap like it is today. You can get a course for $100, $50. All the good, high-quality courses, you know, were like $9.97, $149.97. And at the time, I couldn't afford those courses like I can now. Now I have no problem. I can go buy a $1,500 course just like that. No problem, right? But before, that wasn't an option. So I had to pretty much just throw shit at the wall and something stick. And obviously... You got to see that some stuff sticked or whatnot. Got the CPA marketing going. We got what Amazon FBA going. We got Team D'Angelo software uh, apps. We got online stores. So I mean, the, the list goes on. A lot of stuff stick. But in the beginning, it was rough, you know? And again, you can't be going out and using all of your disposable income for stuff that don't matter. So you need to start buying things for their purpose rather than the brand name or how it looks. See, What's the difference between a $50 refrigerator or a $100 refrigerator? Let's just say a cheap refrigerator. What's the difference between a cheap refrigerator and a $2,000 refrigerator? Absolutely nothing. Not one thing is different other than the way it looks. It might have, this one might have one door. This one might have two doors. This door will keep your, I mean, this one will literally keep your food just as cold as a $2,000 one. So why the hell would you go spend another $1,900 more on this refrigerator other than you're trying to impress somebody? There you go. If you buy things for their function, you know, or their, you know, the reason you're buying it is to keep your food cold. If a $50 to a $100 refrigerator can do the exact same job, just as good as a $2,000 refrigerator, why would you spend an extra $1,900 for no reason? Because you want to impress people. You know, you want people to come in and be like, oh my God, this is a really cool refrigerator. Oh my God, your, your, your thing has a TV in it. You know, it has a, a screen on it and all that type of stuff, right? You don't need that. All right, so that's what I was doing. Like, I, I this is the refrigerator I had right here. I wasn't about to go out and spend $2,000 on a refrigerator, right? If you buy it for its function, you know, or the you know the reason you want to buy it, then it's going you're gonna you're not spend money needlessly, right? You're not gonna spend that extra nineteen hundred dollars. So that's nineteen hundred dollars, boom, right there. We could invest that now, right? Let's go out and uh, people are going out and spending you know thousands of dollars on a living room set. You'll see people with five, ten thousand dollar living room set, right? What is the purpose of a couch? It's for you to sit your ass on it. You can go to the Goodwill and, you know, get you a couch or go to Walmart and get you a really dirt cheap couch for like 50, 60 bucks um, or 150 or whatever. You guys see what I'm saying, right? Let's just say you spend $250 on furniture. You just saved a crap ton of money, right? Let's say you save four grand. That's money that can be invested, right? And it's not like this is like cash that people are spending. They're paying over time for this you're paying you know a monthly fee for this so you don't want to have monthly fees if you can't buy it outright don't buy it i'm telling you if you live your life like that you will never have to worry about having your shit taken away you won't have to worry about your cars being taken away you don't have to worry about a lot of things that the average person has to worry about that if you lost your job today like a lot of people think oh they're so secure they're so secure you know and they got a big super nice house they got the cars lined up but if you have a job your life is like be over tomorrow you can have a, a $5,000 car payment, you know, a, a $3,000 house payment, you know, and all it takes is for your, your boss to come in and be like, oh, yeah, you're you're fired. There isn't a single job that you can get at minimum wage that's going to be able to take care of that. But that's pretty much it, guys. Use your disposable income to, god damn it, he fucking tearing that bag up, right? <laughs> My cat is over here uh, trying to get into the treat bag. But basically, guys... Use your disposable income to invest, right? That's all I can tell you because it's not difficult, you know, just don't buy things you can't afford. Stop trying to play keep up, you know, keeping up with the Joneses. Like you don't need a $30,000 car if your goal is to get from point A to point B. You don't need a BMW for that. Like you don't need a shitty BMW that breaks down every other day to get from point A to point B. Get you an old school Toyota. Them things last forever. Parts are dirt cheap. 
Stop trying to impress people. Simply just buy things for their function. For the reason that you're buying it is to get from point A to point B. Buy any, any car that can get you from point A to point B, you're winning. That's it. You don't have to go out and go in tens of thousands of dollars into a debt, into debt, paying seven years on a car when you can go on Craigslist and buy one for a thousand dollars. And it is going to do the exact same thing as a fifty thousand dollar one. So if the cheaper option can get you the same result as the more expensive option, why is it when it comes to, you know, keeping up with the Joneses or whatever, you know, or how it looks, people want to go for the more expensive option. If Walmart has a TV on sale for $400 and the small business down the street that you can support locally has it $500, no one is going to go to the $500 TV. They're going to go over here. So how does it make sense to, you know, to go for the $2,000 refrigerator over the $150 refrigerator when they do the exact same thing and they just look different? There you go, right? But that's pretty much it, guys. That's how I was able to invest in my business when I was broke. I wasn't playing keeping up with the Joneses. I wasn't investing in, you know, or spending money on things I couldn't afford. You know, every little bit of change that I did have was going into, you know, trying to develop myself. I was constantly buying courses. I was constantly studying. I was constantly, you know, getting into different programs. It's true, again, not every single one panned off and not every single website I started made a profit or, you know, or every campaign I started made a profit, but it paid off. Every little, every dollar or $10 or $100 course that I bought or whatever, you know, every time it didn't work, okay, that was one thing I knew that did not work over and over and over. But that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all that fun stuff.